Hello, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Uh, let's, uh, I'd just like to say, uh, I don't know what happened there in the, la in the last episode, about halfway through there, my audio cut out. I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... She's... Anyway. So, last time we met up with, um... Ashley. So, let's see what Joker has to say about this. Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash. Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? Hmm. She moved on, and I can't blame her. Right, a mutual thing. I gotcha. Hey, you know, if you ever want to talk sometime, I hear Chambers is very good. You're a real pal. I'm there for you. Up here, with my things. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Grunt is... Not a stabilizing element, Commander. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yeah, I still don't know what the devil happened with the, uh... Um... Uh, audio last time, because... So... Yeah, Ashley, the romance that happened that really shouldn't have. Alright, let's talk to uh, Chambers real quick, because I think she triggers something, but I don't want to skip it, and I don't want to uh, do it particularly right now, because those fish died, so. Hold on a sec. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? There's not much to say. The past is the past. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay. So, let's see what these unread messages are. Uh, encrypted transmission. I see that Okir's Krogan... Okay. So, he's basically saying, don't lose the body. Okay. Um, an amazing find, uh... Find it. Uh, data shows that the ship was attacked and over... Blood pack mercenaries and fortress soldiers, according to... Dated records, uh... Okay. I don't know if that's something we need to find or some the ship that we found. I don't know. Uh, nice work. Uh, new Eclipse was hiding valuable cargo, on, but we couldn't land. Fear of mel. Okay, that's the stuff that we found. Um. Oh, Shemesh Bhatia. Okay. The... He's opened up a restaurant in his uh, wife's name. 
and he feeds Alliance officers for free. Cool. Uh, you're not dead, Emily Wall. Okay. Gift of words from Shaira. Giving us another blessing. Uh, hey, Shepard. I heard I have you to thank for. Okay, so someone escaped there. Um, Robin Reeve, the Alliance soldier here, gave me the contact information. Okay, someone from the colony. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Um, I think what we're going to do before we talk to anyone is we're going to actually go to the Citadel. Okay, this is going to be a quick shopping trip, but I figured I'd bring a couple more people here. Keepers. Fascinating creatures. Genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. Hmm. There's another Solarion that might have... Okay. So, where, wherever we are, we're not going to be... Uh, Doing that, so. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Okay, I don't know what he's really apologizing for, other than the fact that he had to scan us. Okay, that comes into play later, and I'm just checking on what these guys have. Okay, now that the slight BS is taken care of. And no, I haven't forgotten about those Krogan either. We might take care of that now. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Yeah, we kind of sort of, uh, hmm. Might as well. All right, and then I'm going to quickly... Okay. Now we're just going to quickly go over here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Tech damage, sure. Jesus. And we're broke again. I'm Commander Shepard. I just... He's my baby. He's all I have. Okay, and she doesn't have anything. Cool. I just want to protect him. I felt her hand go into my pocket. Okay, now that we're done there, I'm going to go back to Normandy. And then we can...
Okay, uh, we're actually going to... Thank you, Kelly. I'm gonna actually start talking to these guys and get these guys set up. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Um... The yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Yeah. So, there's that. Miranda wants to see you, Commander. The only thing that's good about those save things is that it gives you some small hints. God, are they long? That's why I cut them out. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. 
My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Okay. I like the fact that she didn't just instantly teleport back to her chair. That was a nice touch. Usually people just teleport. Okay, I guess we could check in on Garrus. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Glad they're enjoying the fun uh food. Fun. English. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Uh, conversation skills. And I guess that's just that. Because. Mm, it just doesn't want to drop the. Uh, the marker there. Okay. So. I think in the next episode. I know this is a short episode. And not much happened. I was, no was actually, for you, Commander. Yeah. I was actually expecting more out of the chambers, but I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Don't worry, Kelly. I wouldn't let him touch you. If there's any touching being done, you'd better be involved. Anyway, what's up? Hello? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Uh... How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest... How do I feel? Honor. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now, that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. What the heck? I'm trying to initiate something with her, but... Okay, and the little cabinet's almost full. And of course, Our N7 helmet. Okay. Well. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Okay, and on that note, I'm going to end the episode. I know, we really didn't do anything in this episode, but it just, I was expecting more out of Kelly. So, I'll see you guys next time, and if you've liked this series so far, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe down below. 
See you guys next time.